Hey everyone, Natalie here with All Four Paws of West Palm Beach Dog Training and Beowulf. Just to continue some things that we were learning about positive inter interrupter sound, I want to show you what it looks like getting your dog to avoid reacting to another dog. And Beowulf really loves to chase lizards of all things. So if I get a moment where he's chasing a lizard, I'll show you how I'm going to redirect him with the sound. So let's go buddy. Good boy. All right, so I'm coming um, down my street and there are some yards where there's some barking dogs and we're approaching a house that has some loud barking dogs that if I let Beowulf he will eventually bark back. What I want to do is avoid that so you can hear them barking and I can see that my dog's paying attention so I want to get his attention to me and Beowulf knows his positive interrupter sound so I'm just making that as I walk by and that way he's more interested in paying attention to me than he is in responding to barking dogs or anything that's distracting. Another thing you could do if your dog isn't going to be calm when you pass barking dogs to avoid them barking is you can go further away. So if Beowulf was more interested and seemed like he was going to react, I would cross the street and continue to make my positive interrupter sound and have my dog's attention. Since I was able to pass by there, that's great. Another wonderful thing about having a positive interrupter is it allows you to build a relationship with your dog where your dog is wanting to look at you periodically on the walk and check in with you. So you'll notice that if you do this a bunch of times while you're walking, your dog will just start looking at you randomly and kind of checking in with you to see if that, if you have any food that you're going to reward them with. So it's a great way to get your dog to pay a little bit of attention to you. Being outside on a walk is very distracting. There's lots of smells, there's other animals, dogs, cats, squirrels, all kinds of things going on. And you become less interesting when you go out on a walk. So if you take treats with you and you have something like a positive interrupter to work with with your dog, you're giving them a reason to pay attention to you, check in, want to make eye contact with you. And you make yourself more interesting by adding food on your walk versus just being outside. And then if your dog's you know, stimulated by all these things in the environment, it's gonna be harder to get their attention. If you have food, you have a reason for your dog to wanna to check in and pay attention to you. So this is something great that you can practice with your positive interrupter sound. You can use it in lots of different ways as you saw passing barking dogs and avoiding your dog reacting. Um, or just if you wanna change directions or you want your dog not to eat something, you can make your sound, get your dog's attention, and have a more pleasant walk. A walk should be something pleasant for you and your dog. It shouldn't be a battle where your dog's pulling you. Um, you know, your dog should have time to enjoy sniffing around and have a nice loose leash, and you should be able to enjoy the walk too. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Happy training.